Why would we have ancient Greek armor in Mindanao? The crested helmet, the archaic Corinthian or Spartan type copper alloy helmet with nose and cheek guards has become a recognizable symbol of the Greek soldier. The two crested helmets found in the Philippines were of similar design to each other. Nose guards were cut in the shape of a three-leaf flame palmette or an early version of the fleur de lis traditional designs used in classical Greece. Incised lines etched on the nose guard echoed the design. Protective cheek guards appear to have been connected to the helmet and reinforced with three raised circular rivets on each side. Yet the most interesting part of the helmet is its crest that reveals these high-ranking soldiers were not just visitors to these islands. The central top portion of the helmet is decorated with a realistic Tokai Gecko, known to Filipinos as the Tuko, complete with adhesive foot pads, rough textured body, spots, large rounded eyes, and distinctive body and head shape. This type of gecko is indigenous to the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries. The high relief sculpture was done in repose with a gecko form hammered onto the copper alloy sheets from underneath. An examination of the lizard in the imagery of archaic Greek vase painting suggests that it was a figure of power and portent and often an omen of disaster. It is argued that the lizard should be ranked among such uncanny beasts as gorgons, sphinxes, and at least one monumental feline from the archaic Athenian Acropolis. During the first millennium BC, the lizard, or more specifically the gecko, featured prominently in the art of middle Proto-Corinthian vase painters, who portrayed it often in the midst of violent context, appearing in bronze and stone relief. The gecko often finds itself in the middle of opposing forces, about to engage in combat, and was seen as an omen of impending disaster during the archaic period. Even today, the gecko remains an important figure in tribal Philippine art.